Choosing the right blogging platform isn't about finding what's best. It's about finding what's best for you. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a framework to help you pick the perfect blogging platform. By the end, you'll know exactly which option is right for your specific situation. And I'll share three critical mistakes that cause most bloggers to fail before they even get started. Let's start with the big picture. When it comes to blogging platforms, we can break them down into three main categories. Self-hosted solutions like WordPress.org, all-in-one platforms like Wix, Squarespace and WordPress.com, and specialized blogging tools like Medium, Substack or Ghost. Now, before we dive into each option, I need you to get crystal clear on three questions. First, what's your primary goal? Is it to make money, build an audience, create a portfolio, or support an existing business? Second, what's your technical skill level? Are you comfortable learning new systems or do you want something that works right out the box? And third, what's your budget? Not just for starting, but for maintaining your blog over the next two to three years. Let's be honest, if you don't know the answers to these questions, you're gonna make the wrong choice. So pause the video right now and jot down your answers. All right, now let's break down each platform, starting with what most people consider the gold standard, wordpress.org. WordPress powers over 43% of all websites on the internet. That's not just blogs, that's all websites. And there's a reason for that. WordPress.org is a self-hosted solution, which means you own everything. You control your content, your design, your data, and most importantly, your ability to grow. But here's where most people get confused. WordPress.org is different from WordPress.com. WordPress.org requires you to get your own hosting and domain, but gives you complete freedom. The pros of WordPress.org are significant. There's unlimited customization potential. There's thousands of themes and plugins, both free and premium. You get complete ownership over your content and data. And you have the ability to monetize however you want without platform restrictions. But there are also some cons too. There's a learning curve though it's much easier than it was five years ago. You're responsible for maintenance and security and updates. And it does require hosting, which is an additional cost. So who is WordPress.org ideal for? Well, anyone who's serious about building a long-term online presence, who wants complete control over design and functionality, who also plans to monetize their content, and ultimately has growing a business as their end goal. Next, let's talk about all-in-one platforms like Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress.com. These platforms offer convenience. Everything is included in one monthly fee, and they handle the technical aspects for you. The pros of all-in-one platforms are that they're much faster to get started. Generally, they have user-friendly interfaces, and they have predictable monthly costs. The cons, however, do sway this slightly for some people because they've got limited customization options, there's fewer monetization options, there's higher costs as you grow, and there's difficulty migrating if you outgrow the platform. I recommend these platforms for people who value simplicity over flexibility, have very basic needs that won't change much, don't plan to heavily monetize their blog, and have smaller budgets to start but can handle increasing costs over time. But here's what most people don't realize about these platforms their starter solutions. If your blog becomes successful, you'll likely outgrow them within one to two years and then face the painful process of migrating to something more robust like WordPress.org. Finally, we have specialized blogging tools like Medium, Substack, and Ghost. These platforms are designed specifically for particular content creators. Medium for those who want to reach an existing audience, Substack for newsletter focused content, Ghost for membership and subscription business models. The pros of these platforms are they're extremely easy to get started. They've got built in audience potential, especially with Medium. They've got specific features for particular business models. They've got minimal technical requirements too. The cons however are they have very limited customization. They are platform dependent so if they change their policies, you're affected. You've got less ownership over your audience and you've got limited growth paths. I recommend these platforms for people 
who are just testing the waters with content creation have very specific content models that align perfectly with the platform and value simplicity over ownership. Now that we've covered the options, let me tell you why WordPress.org is the right choice for most serious bloggers. First, the flexibility is unmatched. With over 60,000 plugins, you can make WordPress do almost anything. Want to sell products? Add WooCommerce. Need email opt-ins? There's a plugin for that. Want to create courses, membership sites, forums? WordPress handles it all. Second, the growth ceiling doesn't exist. I've seen blogs start as simple hobby sites and grow into multi-million dollar businesses without even needing to change platforms. Try doing that on Wix or Medium. But here's the most important thing. WordPress.org gives you true ownership. Your content, your audience, your business, it all belongs to you. No platform can change their terms of service and suddenly limit your reach or take a bigger cut of your revenue. If you're convinced that WordPress is the right choice, and for most of you it is, here's how to get started the right way. Choose quality hosting. I recommend Bluehost, Hostinger or SiteGround depending on your budget. Good hosting makes WordPress much easier to use and more reliable. Start with a quality theme. You don't need to customize everything from day one. Themes like Astra, Cprod or GeneratePress give you a professional foundation without the headache. Keep plugins to a minimum at first. Start with just the essentials, an SEO plugin like All-in-One SEO, a backup plugin like Duplicator and a form plugin like WP Forms. Before we wrap up, let me share the three critical mistakes I see people make when choosing a blogging platform. Mistake number one, prioritizing ease over ownership. Yes, platforms like Wix are easy to start, but that convenience comes at a cost of ownership and flexibility. Short-term ease often leads to long-term headaches. Mistake number two, underestimating future needs. Most successful blogs evolve over time. The simple blog you start today might need e-commerce, courses, or membership areas in the future. Mistake number three, focusing on design over functionality. Pretty designs are nice, but what ultimately matters is how well your platform supports your business goals. Don't choose a platform just because it makes creating pretty pages easy. Okay, so which blogging platform should you use? For most people serious about blogging as a business or long-term project, WordPress.org is a clear winner. It offers the perfect balance of usability, flexibility, and ownership. If you're just testing the waters and aren't sure if blogging is for you, maybe start with Medium or Substack to see if you enjoy the process of creating content. And if you absolutely need the simplest solution and don't mind limitations, Squarespace or Wix can work as starting points. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more practical advice on building and growing your online presence. And if you want to see exactly how to set up a professional WordPress blog from scratch, check out the step-by-step -step tutorial I've linked right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.